Yo, so what's up guys? Here making a video at a high school I graduated from in the mid-90s. It's called... Wait, what's the name of this fucking school now? I don't know what, whoa, whoa, okay. Willis H. Uh, Carrier Academy. All right, well, see, uh, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration. Yeah, so this is a trade school of those four things. All right, well, <laughs> back then, for what I know, called uh, William E. Grady. I don't know, maybe there's two schools in here. All right, but anyways, the school, what I remember graduating from is William E. Grady. So in this school, it was predominantly men, okay? And it was going back from decades ago. I'm talking like maybe the late 60s. I don't know. For what, I, for, for what I've heard and for what I've seen like in the old yearbooks when I was in this school back in the mid-90s. All right, so anyways. Um, being that this was a predominantly um, men's school, I, um, women were slowly coming here throughout the years. And why? Because they were looking for a husband, you know? Someone to marry, have a family, whatever. All right. And guys, what you should know is this. You know, women are not out for you, but what you could do for them. Because you are your, you know, you are their security. All right. Yes, you have your own security, of course, which is a good thing. You know, so when I was about to say, you know, you are your own security, you know, that's correct. And the women out there want a piece of pie of that, you know, it is what it is. Now, a lot of guys got weak in this school, you know, because when they seen this, uh, when they started to see pussy coming after them while they were learning a trade, all right, the guys themselves, you know, they got overconfident thinking that, oh, these women want me for me. Yeah, I can get pussy like nothing now. Oh, yeah. Without knowing uh, the mindset of these women, um, their gender, you know, their uh, ulterior motives. You know, I mean, guys just end up slipping, man. They, And what I mean by slipping, you know, they, they get their dick wet and they bust up inside them, you know, without realizing the consequences. You know, and they thinking, hey, yeah, well, man, I'm good. You know, either a guy would think, um, well, she ain't gonna know who the father is. She probably banged up enough, um, enough dudes. And, you know, he gets caught at some point in time, man, for that, you know, where she gonna get him for that child support or whatever the fuck. And, you know, a lot of dudes in this school, they were hood rats, okay? They were you know, selling their drugs in the hallways or whatever the fuck, you know, it had drug activity in this school as well, besides guys learning their trades, okay, so, all right, this school attracted a lot of the ghettos here in Brooklyn, all right, so, and, um, yeah, it is what it is, <clears throat> so, um, you know, guys got caught out there, you know, they felt like because they were attracting so much pussy, they could find a wife, and, you know, Guys, I mean, you should know the history of women back then. This way it gives you a heads up on what they are like now. I mean, obviously, times are only getting worse. And expect for people to get worse as well. All right. Women will start coming after men a little more than you think when, you know, their ways of security will get even tighter to get. You know, it's going to, you know, their options are going to narrow. Okay. You know, even back then in high school, man, these women, you know, they were able to get away with shit. You know? Um, you know, I, um, for what I remember back then, I mean, I'm, I, they probably still do have a basketball team. Yeah, you know, I had girls, uh, I had females sucking off guys, you know, in the basketball team. You know? Especially some of the dudes that were, you know, selling their drugs or whatever, learning their trade on the side or whatever the hell. You know, that was attracting women. 
especially from the ghettos. So, I mean, I just thought I'd put you guys on, man. You know, the history of this school and schools that are like this. You know, expect women, you know, to be out there looking for a man to secure them. All right. And just so you men know, security just doesn't involve in money, but it's also power and fame. And a man that was popular in this school, you know, hey, that make him famous in this school, probably in his neighborhood as well, you know, and bitches will go after him. And let's talk about a drug dealer, you know. You know, he probably didn't have a job yet, but he was making that fast money selling the drugs. You know, he was the one with the money. And the power was probably some dude, you know, that could fuck up a lot of motherfuckers. <laughs> you know? And the bitch would like that man's security, you know, to his power. So those are the different ways a woman could get security from a man. It's either through money, power, or fame. And those were the three different things in this school. All right, so men, just know. If that woman tells you the L word, which is love, is really what you do for her. Not really you. Don't take my word on it. But hey, I guess you just have to learn for yourself, right? Because I've learned little things before my own mother told me. Watch out with these women. That's right. She told me this when I was young. And I saw a lot of things for myself before I would have made the mistake in getting married. Having kids with any of these women. Or a or even to cohabitate with a woman. I've never done any of those three things, man. Not one. So, be careful, man. Don't let any of those things get you. And I'm out.